We're now going to work through the areas that make up the hair follicle and surrounding areas so that you have a better understanding of how the hair actually grows. We have at the bottom blood vessels and capillaries that carry the nutrients to the papilla to feed the matrix which produces the actual hair stem. The papilla, which is also known as the root system or the mother of the hair, uh, is made up of connective tissues and capillary loops. This is where the nutrients are received from the blood supply to feed the hair. The matrix is a collection of cells around the papilla, mostly epithelial cells interspersed with melanocytes. Epithelial cells are the most common form of cells in our body and basically are just what make up our body tissue. Melanocytes are pigment producing cells, so in the hair, they are responsible for giving it color. The matrix is where cells divide to form the major structure of the hair fiber. Uh, at the bottom you have the hair bulb. Now this is a club shaped structure situated at the base of the follicle and attached to the papilla. The hair shaft or hair fiber is the hair that grows from the matrix. It will grow up through the hair follicle until it is visible above the skin and then will continue to grow depending on where it is on our body. The mouth of the follicle or the opening of the skin where the hair comes out, also known as the pores. You have the inner root sheath. Uh, now this is just the area that's located between the outer root sheath and the hair follicle. The outer root sheath is uh, what encases the inner root sheath and the hair shaft, so like a bit of a jacket. The hair follicle is a tube-like depression in the skin. Now this encases the hair beneath the skin surface. Uh, the hair follicle is made up of the outer, external and inner, internal root sheaths. You have your sebaceous glands which are microscopic glands in the skin that secrete sebum to lubricate and waterproof the skin and the hair. Your erector pili muscles. Now these are bundles of smooth muscle fibres which attach to several follicles um, or a follicular unit. When these muscles contract, it causes the hairs to stand on the end, which is what we actually know as goosebumps. The contraction of the muscle is involuntary and normally stimulated by cold or fear. So please go back to your training manual now. Uh, all of the diagrams that we've worked through here are in there with full description of each part of the follicle and make sure that you have good understanding before moving on to the next video, which is going to cover hair growth cycles.